Welcome guys to the Eldridge vlog. Today, got a hat on. We are in Ashton Court, Bristol. Where are me our ease? That was a pirate, ignore that. Ashton Court in Bristol for the Dinosaur Encounter Experience. Let's get in there, let's have a look. So when you get to Ashton Court, uh, you will have to pay for the car park. I think it's done on an app called Ringo, and uh, it's three pound twenty to park. Now we've obviously paid for the tickets for the dinosaur encounter. Don't assume that the parking's included. So you will have to pay for car park. So that's three pound twenty, guys. All right. Guys, uh, this is up till the end of November in Ashton Gate. It's done a tour of the whole of the of England, I think it is. But I think it's finishing off now, just before Christmas. Tickets were adult fourteen pound, and the kids twelve pound. That's twelve pound is the same for uh, OAP's concessions. So not bad, fourteen. But I'll tell you at the end whether it's worth it. So we're walking up to the ec the entrance now, where you'll see the fence. So literally, we've seen a lot of stuff before we even gone in. So if you, even if you didn't pay to go into this place, you'll see a lot of the dinosaurs. That's a bit weird, but hey ho, each to their own. Donuts. Donuts. <laughs> so just be warned guys, um, the usual car park for Ashton Court is right next to the mansion, which is there, but they've told us to come around to the other side, and I'm not going to lie to you, hell of a walk, hell of a walk, I am suffering with a bad back in a minute, but this is quite a walk to actually get to the entrance of the Jurassic Encounter. So just be warned, you're going to pay for car parking. And then you've got a, quite a walk to get to the actual entrance. So these are tips, guys. You, you use them, you don't use them. So, Gary Aldridge, would you say that that is at least a five to six mile walk? Yeah, all up here. It's not. I'm lying. So guys, we're at what we think is the entrance, but there's no signs to tell you where to go. Now, I'm looking at around here. There's no one policing it, so I, I'm i confident if we hadn't paid, we could get in. Which is a bit odd, there's a, what I thought was a toilet. There is a box office, but there's no signs to say where you've got to go. So at a minute, a little bit of confused. Food stalls are at the start. With what's going on. UK carnage. So we've gone through the entrance now. Show your e-ticket. I want you all to look forward to later on that we're going to get Elizabeth Eldridge's opinion of the Jurassic encounter. It's quite hard hitting, I'm not going to lie. Hard hitting facts from Elizabeth Mother Eldridge later on. I don't know if it's the sounds picking up on the video, but they're making noises, like walking around. Sugar honey iced tea. Look, 
That's a Parasaurolophius. Parasaurus. It's a dinosaur. Another little tip, little Elders tip. Very muddy. Well, no, it's not very muddy, but it's muddy. So if you had a rainy day, you've got to walk up and down. And if you've seen previous videos, you'll always know that I never have a suitable shoe for mud. Velociraptor versus Aptosaurus. Paid, non paid. That's how close. This is a disaster waiting to happen. Like going downstairs, this is a disaster That's within uh, your land. What's that dinosaur called, mother? Diplosaurus. Well said. On, let's have a little bit of positivity so far the dinosaurs are really good the sounds and the movement they're making really really good so in most places you go in the UK it's chaos at the start because they don't put signs up and stuff like that but when you get into it and you get amongst it they're pretty good to be fair so only a couple of hours this probably take about three hours with dinner and eating involved so yeah it's okay so far, so far so good. Ah. As soon as I went away then it popped up. Do you reckon on that one, chicken? Like it. Do you think that one's excellent? Yes. <laughs> excellent. <laughs> one mini issue I'm gonna bring up at now is you follow obviously a one-way system, so you're doing like like an F1 track of the site, but the food is at the entrance. So if you get halfway round and you're hang Marvin, like myself right now. There is no food option, so you've literally got to go all the way around to do it. Now, I assume the food would be in the middle, maybe, uh, you know, three quarters of the way around, but it's not. It's right at the entrance, which is the exit. So that's a down point for me because I'm starving. I'm starving. So this one's not a triceratops. No, triceratopses have three horns and this does not have three horns it has a frill what was that um, have a frill as well but um this one's got horns
horns on it. The Triceratops do doesn't have horns on it. No. Ah. That's the difference, isn't it? Well, they have two horns. I Just told you, mummy. <laughs> the sad part of the park now. Yeah, why is that? Do you know why? We've met up with other people. Ah. It's the down point of any day out is seeing other people. <laughs> so, literally halfway round, ah. first bench. Ah. There's nowhere to sit down. Ah. I know I've got a bar ah. back, but I am not good. Ah. So this is a pleasure. Ah. You happy ah. we got a bench? Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of walking, isn't it? So yeah, guys, be warned. Let me arm go, I'm gonna check. Be warned, no seating till you're halfway. This looks like we're going into like a little garden area. I'm hoping there's more benches, but they've got the dinosaurs down there. A little bit unsafe, not gonna lie. So be careful if you've got the kids with you. You don't want them to obviously fall off. As my daughter walks close to the edge and gets a daddy look. The token daddy look. Lots of benches in this uh, little garden thing. So when you get to the middle, at least there is some sort of relief for your weary limbs. Mm. Some sort of, it's not ice, it's not real ice, that's mental. Come on, don't be silly. Like an ice castle, I'm sure the kids are connected to frozen. Interesting. What's I got to do with dinosaurs? The most pointless use of safety tape. Absolutely no reason to have safety tape there because it is keeping nobody safe from nothing. completed the the lap very good very good not 14 pound to be honest a lot of walking a lot of walking i think if i didn't have a bad bag i'd probably be easier but we got gracie seven she's absolutely knackered so just be warned it's not really a place for buggies either because of the, the terrain so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the start, going to have some food, uh, have a look at the food, how it goes, and I can sort of give it an overall rating. And we've got Elizabeth Eldridge's views. So what's this? Freedom of speech. Freedom of speech? Yeah. yeah. Even though you, don't, you can't say some things on YouTube because of community guidelines. What freedom? <laughs> Ashton Court Estate, this plaque is erected uh, to the memory of Alderman Walter Henry Hennessy. That was thrilling. hot food factories where they do meat burgers six pounds seven pound fifty depending on size the cheese hot dog is 650 a normal hot dog six pound they do chips for four four pound fifty so there's a selection there's drinks coffee in that one you've then got the hot chocolate section uh three pound for the hot chocolate with cream Three pound fifty. Not too bad price, to be fair.
Then you've got the donuts, waffles, and the coffee there. I'm just gonna have a look at the prices now. Donuts, six pound, five pound in a bag. The prices are not too bad, to be perfectly honest. So let's get some food. So cheese or cheese hot dog is being ordered for myself. Bag of chips. I think uh, Dad's gone for a cheese hot dog as well. So when I've had that, I'm then going to have something from the sweet part and uh, give you my view. Gracie's got donuts. Right, Gracie's got a dinner. My mouth. <laughs> there is cheese on the hot dog. If you can see it, doesn't look like the advert. So, no seating anywhere. So we're sat on a wall. So that's why the filming's hard. Not bad. Normal sausage. Hardly any cheese, cheddar cheese. They could have gone for an American cheese. Rolls nice, it's alright. Six fifty, bit pricey. It's gonna do a job and that's what's important. Doing a chip test. Good chip. Can't get chips wrong though, can you? you can. No, that's a good chip. So the hot dog. I'm going to add the chips as a little side extra. The hot dog, lacking the cheese, the roll is in half, it should be together. So I'm going to go for 6 out of 10 with your, my hot dog. What, um, what rating do you give your hot dog? I've given it a 6 out of 10. I think a good 6. Maybe a good 6. Yeah, I'd go even 7 possibly. My issues were... Yeah. Um, lack of cheese. Lack of cheese, yeah. which is a big thing. The roll was broken. Yeah, it, they cut it too far through. Got to have it. Roll splitting. Roll splitting. It's not good, see. But uh, the sausage was alright, but it was a. It had a slight. It could have been a cheaper taste, sausage. Nice. And then, yeah, six out of ten. Yeah, for me. yeah. I, I, if they could have gone a bit more cheese, they'd have got they'd have had a seven easily. But I'll stick with six. There's the tip. More cheese. Yeah, cheese. For future cheese. I think she's full. So it's donut time. Donut. Time. Yeah, boy. Fully sugared. Fresh, clean. Mmm. Absolutely nailed it. Soft, fluffy, crispy on the outside, sugar, sweet. Oh, so neat. The perfect donut. Mmm. Fantastic. Nine out of ten on your donut. Well done. Well done, donut people. So, hot chocolate. I wanted the chocolate sauce, but unfortunately I had to have the whipped cream. Oh, that's nice. Very chocolatey with a chocolate sauce, a bit of cream. Oh, no, very good, very good hot chocolate. I'm going to give 7 and a half out of 10. Let's have a look. <laughs> what are you going to call him? So much was that, Lily? <sighs> 7 pounds. <laughs> Seven pound is not actually bad for the helium balloon, even though she's making dramatic things. It's not that expensive. The merchandise though is a different level. There's nothing really there. Nothing's like Jurassic Encounter marked or anything like that, unfortunately. Fifty pound for a moving dinosaur. So we're gonna do some negotiations now and say no. So a Jurassic World toy. 24 quid. I'm only doing it because I'm a sucker and I'm a dad. But ooh, merchandise is very expensive. If there was merchandise with Jurassic Encounter on it, I'd be all over it. Pen, pencil, ruler, sharpener, rubber. Woohoo! But no. 
merchandise is quite expensive, guys. So, guys, that's the end of Jurassic uh, Encounters in Ashton Court. £14 for the ticket. Overall, I'm going to give it a 7. I'm really going to give it a 7. The dinosaurs are great. The food was okay. Uh, the weather was nice. The weather's helped a lot. The negatives, my God. Nowhere to eat your food. No seats available anywhere. Price of the merchandise expensive. Food stalls are at the entrance, so if you go straight on the actual walk around, there's no food options when you're walking around seating as well. There's nowhere to eat your food, guys. Now, come on. You want to eat your food on a park bench. Park benches are easy to get. Seven out of ten. Would I come back next year if they did it? Yes. Better prepared, though. Better prepared. I would come earlier in the morning. I'd come about ten. Do the walk around, and then you're in time for dinner. But all in all, guys, Jurassic Encounters in Ashton Court. £14 the ticket, 12 for the kids. 7 out of 10, do it. It isn't too bad, it's been a good day. We'll see you very soon. Ciao, guys.